What's up, everybody? It's KR0. And uh, yeah, it seems like I'm more motivated to make videos these days. Uh, mainly, I've made uh, four new videos on my gaming channel, which if I could edit a little bit better, I would be having it floating right now. But, you know, maybe one of these days I gotta get an editor. Anywho, regardless, um, definitely check out my gaming channel. Uh, I'm gonna leave a link in the description. Please like and subscribe if you like it. The content coming out. We only got I only got like two games I'm playing on it so far, but I'll get to that at the end of the video. Anywho, um, meanwhile, this channel is mostly going to be about like you know movie or TV show reviews or you know my common writer video that I still gotta focus on <laughs> making. Uh, and my Doug, uh, my, oh, full on research Doug video, that Doug controversy video that I made, like, well, the last video I made, of course. Anywho, regardless, uh, um, yeah, but this channel is going to be mostly me talking about all the stuff I've been seeing on YouTube. And those TV show reviews from my perspective, you know, my own opinion of them. Uh, which leads me to the main meat and potatoes of this particular video, which is Star Trek Prodigy Season 2 is finally out on Netflix. And I'm so happy. Uh, like, you don't understand. I love Star Trek Prodigy Season 1. I thought it was a great series. At first, it, it, it's, I was like a little bit unsure of it at first, but then I got into it. I got into it. They were well-written characters, in my honest opinion, and, you know, well-written in the form of it being a kid's show. And a Star Trek show all at once, and it, it worked. And I'm so glad that they picked, uh, I'm so glad that they kept uh, Kate Mulgrew in as a uh, well the hologram Janeway and of course Admiral Janeway which made it even better and oh yeah Robert Belzer the uh, oh wrong name I'm sorry uh Robert Beltran sorry why did I say Belzer <sighs> I think I know why anyways um but he had Robert Veltrin as Chakotay again, even though he was like, he wasn't in the uh, show as much in season one. But season two, so far, has been great. Um, I I kind of skipped around with season two uh, in the three hours that I watched it tonight, this past, like, a couple hours ago. <laughs> Mainly because... I was, I, I've been waiting for this for like a good minute, okay? I think the first season came out like, what, uh, a year or two ago? Or three? I don't know. We weren't sure when, if we were ever going to get season two, and we finally got it, and it was still good. And I'm still, I'm so happy they were still able to keep everybody in the show. All the cast members, they still perform their uh roles just perfectly and you still get that feeling from robert uh, uh, uh camaraderie <laughs> with this cast and i love it um uh, but in this season oh this season like i'm gonna give it a full watch through um because usually when it comes to netflix shows especially when all the episodes come out all at once I tend to like watch the first episode and then like maybe watch the full first episode and then like kind of skip and then skip all the way to the end and kind of skip around in that final episode. This time I actually kind of went through like all the different episodes of season two. Get some of them that it seemed like it was, you know, that felt like filler somewhat, but overall. I was generally surprised. There's a lot of cameos in this, okay? Uh, we're getting more Robert Beltran, which I'm so happy. We're getting more Chicote, But we also get 
one more character from Star Trek Voyager. I'm not going to say who because I don't want to spoil it. We're also getting a couple characters from Star Trek Next Generation, including one that, ooh, he's up there in age, and I wasn't expecting him to be in it. And no, it's not John Luke Picard himself. It's not uh, it's not uh, Patrick Stewart. But it's definitely somebody. I, I'll give you a little bit of a hint. He was in the first two movies of a certain uh, movie series uh, that just recently came out was his fourth movie. And it's on Netflix as well. Okay. I'm not going to. I can't spoil it anymore. Uh, uh, but yeah. And there's also a few other cameos that I will that are important to the season and I do not want to spoil it because I was I was so shocked that he that they were in it. Okay? I was so shocked that they were in it. But still, regardless, um is I'm I'm gonna give it a full watch too. And when I do give it a full watch too, I might do like about maybe you know, three there's 20 episodes in the season, so I, I'd say I might do like two episodes, uh, a two episode type review. But since there's a lot of two parters in the season, uh, but I might do like a little two episode review uh, series on uh, Star Trek Prodigy. But in my honest opinion, I'm just so happy that this show is back. With the season two, because we weren't sure if it was gonna have a season, a uh, second season, and I'm so glad that they were able to make it happen. Uh, even though it's no longer on Paramount Plus, I'm happy that it found a home on Netflix, and because I, 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 you know, I feel like this is just the perfect like thing for like Star Trek fans like myself uh, to kind of uh, watch with the next generation of Star Trek fans, you know, the kids, you know, I don't have kids yet, but you know, I know a few friends of mine who are Star Trek fans and they have kids. So I don't, it's, it's a good family show to watch. No. And all I feel is that it's full on Star Trek is not, there's no, uh, there's no, Woke or anti wokeness about it is just full on Star Trek. That's what you're getting, and you're not. It's not like some politically led thing. It's just for kids, and it doesn't have any of that grooming stuff. Supposedly that people would probably think of it being grooming or whatever. It's just a kids show, and it's so good. All right. Um. Yeah, but I don't know how much I can say about it because I don't want to spoil it and I don't want to spoil my review things over it. But, um, yeah, that's basically what I wanted to talk about in this video. However, I also want to bring up my my gaming channel, KR0 Gaming, KR086 Gaming, because I've rebranded it as KR086. I forgot. Anyways, KR086. 86 gaming so far it has only four videos on it um two for my la noir playthrough and two from my uh playthrough with some friends on discord called um we're playing through uh lethal company which i would say is the most hilarious thing that we're going through at this point because we're still getting used to the game and <laughs> It's hilarious how things kept going. We don't ever reach quota. Um, but uh, I'm playing it with a friend of mine, Spins Games, who's also on YouTube. Definitely check out his channel. I'll leave a description in this video as well. And he's also uh, tagged in all those videos with Lethal Company. And then uh, a couple of the friends from discord if they start youtube channels i'll start tagging them in it as well but uh so far it's been the most hilarious thing in the world and that's half the reason why i've been more inspired to record and uh do more videos 
and have a little bit more of uh, passion in these two channels now that I have two channels. Kind of shocking how you can do it. It's so easy. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much all I want to talk about. So I'm going to leave, like I said, I'm going to leave a link in the description to my gaming channel and to my friend business gaming channel uh, as well. And uh, there was something else I wanted to say. Oh, yeah. And I'm about to say something that I never thought I, 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 I can't believe I'm saying nowadays, but you know, I do want to like grow as a YouTube creator. Uh, so feel free to like comment. And if you like, if you like my, uh, content, definitely like and comment. But if you like the comment, if you like the content that I'm going to start making, please subscribe, you know, help a brother out and growing his channel the more i grow the more i will put more effort into this and maybe i should really definitely get in touch with an editor as well <laughs> if i have the money for it all right but that's it for me today tonight at least um uh, or today depending on what time this gets posted anyways <laughs> Well, I'll see you guys next time. You guys, until then, you guys have a great day, have a great night, have a great week, have a great month, and have a great year. And I'll see y'all next time. Peace.